Hello guys! Our today's chemical compound is very highly toxic gas, very far hazardous and extremely reactive. It, as you probably got from the video's name, is diborane. The main component we need to get diborane is sodium borohydride. Sodium borohydride easily ignites and burns smoothly. Potassium borohydride acts exactly the same. Sodium borohydride can also be ignited with concentrated sulfuric acid. Notice that the first flare is green. It's the result of diborane's combustion on contact with air. Potassium borohydride is a lot more active in this reaction. When heated with no solvent, tin to chloride and sodium borohydride produce diborane with high yield. Combining these components, you can see the reaction already. Notice how tin to chloride's crystals get darker in the mixture because of tin metal. Now let's hit a mixture. This tin mirror suggests sodium borohydride reducing ability. If you have a gas vent installation, diborane will burn more smoothly. You can get clear green flame by burning diborane in pure oxygen. Notice how burning diborane in oxygen produces boron oxide. When it burns in air, it's not as distinct because oxygen in the air is also spent on burning hydrogen, which is produced in the reaction. And bonus reaction, sodium borohydride aqueous solution and 
protein for chloride anhydrase. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and share then with friends, you can watch how another borohydride burns with liquid oxygen in this video, how this channel will get popular and I'll be able to show you reactions with frozen diborane or something even cooler. See you next video!